How's it going everyone? This is Cloud Chief, and in today's video, we're getting the clears for Dynamis Buberimo. I've talked about in past videos how Dreamland Dynamis is a great place to farm Dynamis currency. And if you want to know more about that, check down in the description for a link to that video about farming currency because it can be a great place to farm singles. However, in this video, I'm mainly talking about getting the clear for the Dreamland Dynamises, this one particularly Boomerimu, because you need to get all three clears of the base Dreamlands to get access to Dynamis Tavnasia, and then after you have access to Dynamis Tav and you clear that, you can then go and do Dynamis Divergence. You want to get access to Dynamis Divergence if you're trying to participate in endgame events, not to mention that Dynamis Divergence has access to some of the best gear in the game along with being able to augment Rima weapons so that way they can stay top tier and just be the best weapons in the game. So to clear Boomerimu, you need to kill Apocalyptic Beast. And this is spawned by getting the Revelatory Juju which drops off of most nightmare mobs of the lowest level that are in the middle of the zone. Basically, just go around and start killing any nightmare bunnies, crabs, crawlers, domals, efts, mandragoras, ravens, scorpions, or ergonites. Just keep killing them until you get the revelatory juju and then you are able to pop apocalyptic beast. The mega boss can do some pretty nasty moves, so it's typically best to do things that are going to lock certain moves and essentially just make the mm easier to kill so before you go and pop it i highly recommend that you go around and kill four other nms for items and then as soon as you pop it you just pop the items like temp items and then that'll restrict apocalyptic beast so that way he will be substantially easier to clear and should be a joke at item level all of these mobs are shadow dragon type mobs so they're pretty easy to identify once you see them. Also, you can just pick them up in wide scan pretty easily. I would go and look for Stahi, who you can find around I-6, and he's gonna drop a Shade Scale Skull. Next, we would wanna take out a Varus, who you can find at J-8, and he drops a Shade Scale Heart. Akoha is the next one up on our list who you can find at J7 and he will drop a Shade Scale Talon. And last is Barong who you will find at G9 and he drops a Shade Scale Femur. Once you have all of these, you are then ready to easily go beat Apocalyptic Beast. You can pop Apocalyptic Beast around G7 with the Juju. Once you pop him, just go ahead and pop any of the shade scale items that you got to restrict the NM and then go ahead and beat him. After that, you now have the clear for Boomerimu. And that pretty much covers everything so that way you can easily clear this event, even if you're only in like Sparks level gear. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for supporting the channel and may you have success in all you do.